In this video, we are going to continue with congruence and similarity, but we are going to focus on similar figures. You will find this on page 347 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Similar figures. The following pictures shows three mugs which look alike but are of different sizes. Figures or objects that have the same shape but not necessarily the same size are said to be similar. All regular figures are similar. All circles are similar. All squares are similar. All equilateral triangles are similar. Okay, if you want to look at this investigation, you can just click on this QR. Um, just use, use your uh, geometrical sketch download, you can do that. But clicking on that QR will open you at the YouTube to do this investigation. Okay, but we are just going to look at the final result. The investigation reveals the following properties of similar triangles. If two triangles or polygons are similar, then all their corresponding angles are equal and the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So the sides are not equal, they are in a specific ratio. But let's look at this example. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then we can write like this. So instead of writing it horizontal, we put the three stripes vertical. This means, okay, angle A is equal to angle D, okay? Angle B, because it's written like this, so A is equal to D, B is equal to E, C is equal to F. Okay, that's the angles, they are equal. But the sides works like this, this first two over this first two, this last two over that last two, that first and last over that first and last. And if you write it like this, you will get a constant, a specific constant. So if you divide it, divide, divide, that constant will be equal. We can extend the properties of similar triangles to similar polygons, and it's exactly the same way. So the angles, the corresponding, so A is equal to P, B is equal to Q, C is equal to R, D is equal to S. And then we can say the sides A, B, P, Q, B, C, Q, R, C, D, um, R, S. And then you can just write it like this. Um, let's just go and look at that R, S. Um, S, P, okay, S, P, this first and last, so A, D, uh, S, P, and that's K. It's read as similar to. Let's look at an example. Okay, in the diagram, in the diagram, triangle ABC is similar to this. AB is 4, D is 6, and EF is 5. And that is 100, and find angle B. So if you look at angle B, now in this case, if you're going to look, it's also going to be 113, because you can see that angle B is equal to angle E, and that's why it's 113. The length of BC, now this is very important. If you have the triangle, it's actually very good to first write, and I'm going to do it here. So first write your sides. It's AB over DE. It's BC over EF and it's AC over DF. Okay, so if I look at this, I look which ones do I have. Now I like to do it like this. I say I have AB, I have AB, I have DE, DE, and I have EF. So it means cancel that one and just work with that four, and that's what I did there. Then I just fill it in, this is one term equals one term, so I cross multiply and I get this answer. Let's move on. Okay, 
always identify the corresponding sides and angles first. That's very important. So I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now too. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. In the diagram, now I'm, uh, this is very important, start first and they will always name it correctly. Is similar to triangle X, Y, Z. So I'm going to say that A, B over X, Y is equal to B, C over Y, Z is equal to AC over XZ. And now I'm just find angle X. Okay, now if I want to find, let's just move this down first. If I want to find angle X, so let's just write the angles. So angle A is equal to angle X, angle B is equal to angle Y, and Angle C is equal to angle Z. Okay, so if I look at this and I'm for uh, X, so I can start there by saying angle A is equal to angle X, and what is angle A? And that is equal to 24 degrees. Okay. The length of, okay, now if I come to the length, let's just mark what do I have. I have AB, I have BC, I have XY, and I'm looking for YZ. Okay, so that one is out. So if I start there, keep it to green. So I'm going to say AB over XY is equal to BC over YZ. So in the place of AB, it's 6, XY, XY, it's 5, BC, it's 4, and YZ, uh, YZ is the one I'm looking for. Then I'm cross multiplying. So I will say uh, 6, y z equals 5 and that's 20 and I divide by 6 and I divide by z 6 and y z and if I say 20 it will be 3 and a third centimeters okay and that's how I do that okay let's look at another example the quadrilateral now it's just a quadrilateral um, ABC is similar to RSTY to you. It's very important the order of writing. Find the values. So again, it's very good if I just say um, I, I'm I'm just going to help you by first doing that. Okay. So I'm going to say it's A B C D. It's similar to R is T U. So A B A B over R is equals B C over S T equals C D over T U equals a D over R U. And if I come to the angles, angle A is equal to angle R. Angle B is equal to angle S. Angle C is equal to angle T. And angle D is equal to angle U. Okay, so if I start with the first one, I say find the value of each of the variables in the figure. Oh, it's actually quite a lot. So the first one I will find is P. So BC, let's see, BC, BC, okay, let's first mark what do I have. I have, BC is the one I'm looking for, okay. Um, then I have TS, 
O S T. Then I have S R R S, and I have A B A B. So I'm going to work with this four, and this is what I did there. So I'm going to for P over five point four. This one I cross multiply, and I get my answer. Okay, and then if I was must find the other one. So now I will work. Let's just see what is the other one. Um, Q. So it's U R. U R. Where is U R? U R. This, this is U R. And let's see if I have I D. I D. I have I D. So now, so and I'm looking for U R. This is the one I'm looking for. So now I'm going to work with this one and this one, and I just substitute and I multiply and I get my value. Okay. So I want you to stop again the video, and I want you to do try now three. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, in each of the following cases, uh, figure 1 is similar to figure 2. Find the value of each variable in the figures. Okay, ABC is similar to, so this is always very important that we first write down that. Um, A, B, C, D, S, P, Q, R, S. P, P, Q, R, S. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, so it's just sides, so I think I'm going to just first write down the sides. So this is going to be A, B over P, Q uh, is equal to A, B, P, Q, B, C over Q, R is equal to C, D over R, S is equal to A, D over P is. Okay. So if I'm looking what do I have, let's just mark it. So ID, I have, okay, what are they asking? Um, X and Y. So in this case, I think let's just do number A. You can do B on your own because it's quite long. So if I look at this one, so I'm just going to look. It's AB. Um, let's just see what do I have. AB is my X. Okay, and then I have, do I have PQ? Let's see, PQ, yes, I have PQ, that is 25. Uh, do I have BC? PC, I have PC, okay, and do I have QR? Um, no, QR, it's also Y. It's too much, Let, let's see if I have CD, no. Do I have RS? No. Do I have ID? Yes, I have ID, and that's 16. Do I have PS? Yes, and that's 20. So I first I'm going to work with this one, and then I'll combine this one. So in my first one, I'm going to say AB over PQ is equal to AD over P. Is. So AB is X, PQ is 25, AD is 16, PS is 20. So what am I doing now? I'm just going to cross multiply. So as soon as I cross multiply, I'm going to get 20X equals 16 times 25. So I divide 20, I divide 20, and the value of x, what will be the value of x? It's going to be 20 centimeters. I just want to control quickly. So it was 16 times 25, divide 20, and that's also going to be 20. And then if I want to find y, okay, let's just do that. You can even do that. 
So if I want to find y, I'm just now going to say, okay, which is my complete one? This is my complete one, and I will just try it with this one now. So it's BC over QR equals AD over PS. So BC, okay, let's see what is BC. BC is 25. QR, QR is Y. AD is 16. And PS is 20. And then I will get 16y, it's 20 times 25, divide 16, divide 16, and the value of y, what will be the value of y? Um, it's going to be 31.2, let's just correct that, 31.2. 2.5 centimeters. Okay, and that's going to be my final. Uh, we will continue in the next video with similar figures.